Hello once again and welcome back to another Bloxy tutorial. In this one, we will learn all about translating content strings throughout your website. And what are content strings, you may ask? Well, content strings are little text pieces that can be entered in various places throughout the WordPress software, such as labels for elements of the customizer, widgets, form placeholders, and so on. These are different from software translation strings as those relate to the user interface of the product. For this demonstration video, we will use WPML as our translation software, but the steps should be very similar with all other options out there, such as Polylang or Translate Press. Let's begin. As you can see, we have already set up a multi-language website, which contains an additional language besides the main English language. Everything seems to look good at first glance, but if we use the language switcher, we will quickly see that some of these elements are still in English, even if we have switched the language. We need to fix that so that we get a consistent website across the board. First, we will need to identify what strings need to be translated. As we can see, header labels are missing their translations in this case. If we navigate to the customizer for a quick glance, we can see that these strings have been defined in the main language. Great, now let's go to the WordPress dashboard and see how we can translate these. Under the options of your translation plugin, there should be a feature called String Translation. Its placement may vary as WPML makes it available right in its menu. Click on it and we can already see many strings that await translation. If you recall the information that's presented on the front end, we will need to translate the labels of the search, account, and button header elements. Since the translation plugin offers a search option, let's search for our first element. And true to its function, it pop-ups in the search results so that we can modify it. Click the plus button and enter your new translation. Before we continue with the other two examples, We'd like to note an important thing. Content strings are usually detected by the translation plugin automatically, but there can be some super specific use cases in which this auto detection might fail. In those cases, you will need to consult your plugin's documentation and how to force scan for new strings as they should pop up after a new scan. All right, enough with the babble. Let's continue translating the two remaining elements the same procedure is followed. Search for the string and choose the plus button. Then enter the desired translation. Changes should be saved automatically once you close the little translation pop-up. Great, I think we're done, right? Let's check out the front end to see how this looks. We're here on the English version and everything seems to be all right. Let's switch to the other language and voila, the new elements are displayed in their correct language now. That's pretty much it in terms of translating content strings with the translation plugin. Do note that this procedure can also be used for other things, such as placeholders, widgets, and so on. You may consult the documentation of your translation plugin to find out which strings are supported, as some might even let you translate user interface strings. As usual, if you have any questions or you're looking for guidance with Bloxy, feel free to reach out via our help section on the creativethemes.com website. There are plenty of resources that should help you get set up. And if you can't find the answer, the support section is just a click away. Until next time, take care.